Hello everyone and welcome back to Deciphering Weather. In today's video, we're going to continue our Hurricane Preparedness Week and discuss what is insurance and why you need it for a hurricane. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. So hurricanes, as we know, cause a lot of damage. They have strong winds that come through. Sometimes those winds, when they come on shore, interact with the land and they can cause tornadoes. And when those winds and tornadoes come into contact with your home, sometimes that can cause minor or even catastrophic damage, depending on how strong the hurricane is. Which is why when hurricane watches and warnings are put into effect, we always recommend that you evacuate. And when you evacuate, you want to make sure you take your insurance policy with you uh, because you don't want to leave it in your home in case it gets destroyed. It could be uh, swept away, could be flooded. And when you take the insurance policy with you and all your other important documents like your social security card, your driver's license, your house deed, your car insurance papers, your titles, you want to make sure that they're in a container or vacuum sealed to protect them from the weather and the elements when they go with you. So why do we need insurance? So let's talk about it. What you want to do is when your hurricane is coming, this is something you can actually do today, is talk to your agent or your insurance company because they're going to be the best people to talk to you about what specifically you need to cover yourself and your home and your personal belongings or your car from a hurricane. Now, in the past couple of years, especially since COVID, a lot of homes have gone up in value because people are leaving the cities, we're trying to escape the virus, and they went into the suburbs, and that caused home prices to skyrocket in certain parts of the country across the United States. So your insurance, you want to make sure that that's updated to cover the current value of your home because you don't want to have insurance at one level and then your house is worth, say, two times more than what you're covering yourself for and you don't get that money from your insurance company for what your house is actually valued. You want to make sure you cover all your bases so that way if your house is damaged or destroyed, your insurance company pays for it and all of it, not just a partial of it. Also, when hurricanes are coming to you, there's also what's called a hurricane deductible, which goes into effect when there's a named hurricane, declared hurricane watches, hurricane is actually made landfall. That was a key stipulation back uh, in 2012 when Sandy made landfall in New Jersey. It was originally a hurricane, but then was downgraded to a super storm, uh, so it, extra tropical storm, so it wasn't a hurricane any longer. So there was a lot of discrepancies of what your insurance was covering and not covering. Uh, so you want to make sure you understand that completely. And it also determines what you're paying out of your pocket yourself because the insurance company will pay something and then you have your deductible. And if there's a hurricane in place, you got to pay the hurricane deductible, not your regular deductible. Now, going back to knowing what your policy covers, because insurance companies are notorious for having policy exclusions. What do I mean by that? It's what the insurance company will and will not pay in the policy. So in your typical homeowner's policy, they cover leaking roofs, burst pipes, uh, plumbing overflow issues, damage to your uh, roof, anything of that nature. What they won't cover in a regular homeowner's policy is flood damage. And we all know hurricanes cause a lot of flood damage. You have the storm surge that comes in, and it wipes away your home from the foundation sometimes if you're right along the coast and it's a very strong storm surge. Or you have a storm stall out like Harvey and it causes a lot of inland flooding. So what you want to do is get yourself covered, especially if you're in a flood zone, is get flood insurance. That will cover you for the flooding of your home because that's not covered under a regular insurance policy. So to wrap up again, 
what you want to do when you're going through your hurricane preparedness uh, this week is contact your insurance company or your agent. You want to know what's in your policy. You want to keep the documents with you if you are evacuating. If you if you do leave them in your home, make sure they're in a sealed container or a vacuum sealed bag so that way they're protected in case there's flooding. And you want to get yourself flood insurance, especially if you're in a flood prone area or along the coast, because that's not going to be covered in your regular insurance policy. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Please share this video with your family and friends on social media. And if you're new and like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.